G'day guys, welcome to How to Play the Head Pro Way hole number 11 here at Windaroo Lakes. Hole number 11 is our shortest par 3 at the golf course. It's 151 metres off the black tee. It has our narrowest green, but our widest green. Hitting this green simply doesn't guarantee you a par 3. One of the keys to hitting this particular green is to try to make sure you're hitting a full swing. Too often I see players trying to play softer shots or trying to go away from their natural shot shape. They'll try to hit a high fade or a high draw to move the ball into the pin position and it goes against what they would normally do. Par threes like this, the goal being simply to hit the green, we've got to make sure we're playing a nice full swing and a comfortable swing. The second little bit of advice, guys, I would err on the side of avoid being long where possible, okay? The short shot isn't necessarily easy. Long, long left, we're hitting into a hazard. So today we've lasered it and it is 162 yards. So that's a nice seven iron. Guys, I carry a little cheat sheet here with me which tells me how far I hit every single golf club. I'd like to see more players have a better understanding and it really does help on par threes like this. So we're gonna stand here today, we're gonna hit a seven iron. Guys, in terms of my, my start line and my direction, as a slightly better player, I'll aim for the flag. But I often give this piece of advice to my son when he stands here. For him, it's between a forward and a hybrid. I often ask him to take the ball between the right side of the green and the bunker, regardless of pin position, and try to get into that front right portion. He has to allow himself, as a player who is hitting a hybrid onto this green, he's getting a shot on the hole. He should be playing it as a very, very easy, simple par four. If he hits a good tee shot, he'll get a par three. Try that thought process next time you're here. If you get a shot on the hole, play for it that it's a tough hole, even though it's short. Short's better than long. Aim for the, between the left bunker there and the right side of the green into that fat part of the green. If you can get it on the green, take two putts, you're winning. If you get it on the green, take three putts, it's still net par, and you walked away from a toughish little par three with a good score. Okay, so I want to take this opportunity here to talk to you briefly about um, a particular rule here. And we talk about the immovable obstruction. So on here we have the, the green bollards that are around the sides of the cart pass here. Okay, guys, these are immovable and we're entitled to get some relief from them. So I've hit my tee shot, pushed it a little bit to the right, it didn't quite draw back, and I found myself next to one of these bollards. We've got to make sure we're taking the correct drop, okay? So I'm entitled to, to relief away when my club's not hitting it, but I've got to take my nearest point no nearer the hole where I get full relief. The clear point there is no nearer to the hole. So one of the things, as pedantic as it might seem I ask players to do, if you have a laser, laser it. So I'm looking at these two spots here, okay? I've got a beautiful clean lie just over here to the left-hand side where it looks really tasty. I've dropped the golf ball and now I'm gonna be in a pretty good spot. And then I've got a pretty bare lie over here. More often than not, we see players take a quick look and go, I'll take that approach. But this is what we need to be doing, guys. You need to be keeping yourselves, one, honest, and two, make sure that you can't be questioned. So grab your laser. Okay, so from here, a clear spot, I'm 21, 21 yards away, in case you couldn't see me over there. So over that spot there, nice, clean, crisp grass, I'm 21 yards from the hole. I come over here to my, my slightly less than desirable and I'm 22 yards from the hole. So from where we stand, at 22 yards from the hole, I have to take the drop, unfortunately, in the area that is less than desirable. But again, now I know I've taken the correct drop and doing so using the laser ensures that I can't be questioned and I can go home feeling good that I've done the right thing. So we're gonna take our drop over there and I'm gonna talk you through how to play the next shot. Okay guys, so now we have the golf ball in play. Again, I've probably missed it in one of the worst spots you can miss when it's a red flag. But hey, that happens. We don't always hit the golf ball perfect all the time. Here we've got a chip shot up and over a hill and then rolling very fast down the hill towards the flag stick. I've got a tight lie, I've got a bit of a scrubby lie. Guys, I'm not gonna be trying to loft this up in the air. Regardless of how good a shot I hit, the ball's gonna hit that green and go rolling across. So the best thing we can do here is simply play a bit of an old-fashioned bump and run. So we're gonna take a seven iron here, guys. 
The goal is to try to land this maybe 10, 12 feet in front of us, allow it to skip through the rough and run down the hill. If I find myself in this sort of position, I'm just simply trying to get it inside of 15 to 20 foot, and hopefully I can make the putt. And if I don't, it's a four. I've made it easy for, as much as it would be frustrating to make a bogey, I've got myself out of a situation that could be a lot worse if I allow myself trying to play the hero shot. Okay, so we've got the, the par putt here. Pretty fortunate, Dan Stack has just been out and cut the green slightly ahead of me, so we've got ourselves a, a, a nice smooth surface. You'll notice this dot, guys, is gonna come two to three weeks too late. That's a club championship pin, so if you're watching this video, that was where the flag was. Hopefully, if you hit it where I did, you ended up as close to the flag with your chip shot. So we've got the par putt, we're gonna have an attempt it slightly downhill. Whilst I want to make it, one of the things I'd probably make players be very mindful of is don't try to hit the putt so hard that it goes careering path. Because these putts on this 11th green can get away from you if you overhit them. hit a good putt there unfortunately just hit it a fraction too hard guys i hope you enjoyed the video series so far and again please make sure you send a comment in below like we spoke about on hole number 10 last week if you have a particular shot around the green or on the golf course anywhere that you'd like some help with playing comment below let me know and when we start the series after we finish this full 18 holes i'll be able to make those videos for you guys